Question 13. What is PERI? Is it possible that the same could be done with a single system? Answer. PDI stands for Physical Data Integration and it is not always necessary that all the tasks can be managed with a single system. This is because there is always a need to handle vast volume of data. One of the perfect examples is data warehousing. Question 14. What do you mean by data mapping and what is its significance? Answer. The simple process of creating the data elements in the models which are completely or partially different from one another is called as data mapping. Basically, it is regarded as the first thing towards the data integration. It is known to help in data transformation from a source to destination which can be defined or not. Question 15. What exactly do you mean by a business plan? Answer. It is actually a statement that is generally written to provide useful information related to the goals of an organization. There is also information related to the betterment of the same. The plans also define the paths to achieve the goals and the challenges that the organization can face. Depending on the type of plan and other factors, it can have information on the background of anything that is related with the organization, or anything that is related with the final target. Question 16. What are the possible problems an organization can face in the proper customer communication process management? Answer. There can be several problems that can declare their presence and a few of them are lack of communication tools, lack of skills required, no timely feedback to the customer, no proper information to the customer by the organization, IT related problems, unstructured data of the customer in the database, database management issues, challenges related to the time management. Question 17. How well can you understand risk management? Answer. Well, there are several risks that are associated with the tasks that are accomplished or performed in an organization. The identification of the same before they create the blunder and eliminating them is known as risk management. There are many factors that are considered and a few of them are controlling, analyzing, avoidance as well as assessing the same. Question 18. Are you familiar with plan baselines? What are they? Answer. These are basically the different versions of the parallel plans that are represented just before the final execution starts. They make sure of effective communication and the quality at all the stages. It is not always necessary that they all have similar significance and impact on a business. However, they are considered to understand more about the implementation. Question 19. What are the benefits of data scanning? Answer. Scanning is done for a lot of purposes. First thing is, it makes sure there are no undesired errors in the data that the organization is going to deploy for a project. At the same time, it makes sure that every string is compatible with others and there will be no issues at a later instance due to same. Also, scanning makes sure whether the information can be trusted for the task or not. Question 20. On the text data, how is it possible for the users to consider marching of patterns? Answer. This is generally done with the help of an approach that is called as regular expression. Actually, it is one of the very powerful tools that can even find a very small data from a bulky, structured or unstructured data. Question 21. Explain the concept of pushback. Answer. Pushbacks are the conditions or unexpected issues that declare their presence during a project and waste the time. It is not always necessary that only the technology can be held responsible for this. Sometimes this can be due to users' negligence. It is because of this reason. A detailed analysis is done by the business analytics to ensure no time gets wasted and things can be completed on time. Question 22. On which document the project authorized? is done. Answer. This document is called as project charter and is one among the highly significant document that is related to a project. There is also information about the needs stakeholders can pay close attention to. In addition to this, project charter can sometimes give useful information about the final outcome of the project. Question 23. Explain the concept of history preserving. Answer. It is basically an approach to offer a fresh row for date rather than updating the one which already exists. All the newly created ones are tagged as updates and the same flag can be applied for creating them. During this process, a lot of changes are there that the processes have to go through. The detailed information on the same can be located in the columns associated. Question 24. Is it possible to use the objects again and again in the data integration approach? Answer. Yes, it is possible and that is why the objects are tagged as reusable objects. However, it is up to the users whether they use them again or assigned a new one for every subtask. 
Question 25. While handling a project, how can you estimate activity done directly? Answer. There are a few techniques that can help in this matter. They are three-point estimates and parametric estimates which are useful in this matter.